In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly, beloved in Christ, and Father, Immanuel, Aouya. And now I share with you a touch of God's love, that's a short reflection and prayer. On the Holy Mass readings of uh, Monday, 12 August, 2024, 19th week in ordinary time. The readings are taken from Ezekiel 1, 2-5. Uh, 24 to 28, Psalm 148, 1 to 2, 11 to 14, Matthew 17, 22 to 27. The theme of the reflection is how God gives us ministries. How God gives us ministries. The first reading says, On the fifth of the month, it was the fifth year of exile for King Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim. The word of the Lord was addressed to, to the priest Ezekiel, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans, on the bank of the river Cheba. There the hand of the Lord came on me. I looked, a stormy wind blew from the north, a, a great cloud with light around it, a fire from which flashes of lightning darted. In the center, a sheen like bronze at the heart of the fire. In the center, I saw what seemed four animals. They looked like this. They were of human form. I heard the noise of their wings as they moved. It sounded like rushing water, like the voice of Shaddai, a noise like a storm like the noise of a camp. When they halted, they folded their wings, and there was a noise. Above the vault over their heads was something that looked like a sapphire. It was shaped like a throne, and high up on this throne was a being that looked like a man. I saw him shine like bronze, and close to two and all round around him, from what seemed his loins upwards, was what looked like fire. And from what seemed his loins downwards, I saw what looked like fire. And a light all round like a bull in the clouds on rainy days. That is how the surrounding light appeared. It was something that looked like the glory of the Lord. I looked and prostrated myself. And the Gospel says, One day, when, when they were together in Galilee, Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man is going to be handed over into the power of men. They will put him to death. And on the third day he will be raised to life again. And a great sadness came over them. When they reached Capernaum, the collectors of the half shekel came to Peter and said, Does your master not pay the half shekel? Oh yes, he replied, and went into the house. But before he could speak, Jesus said, Simon, what is your opinion? From whom do the kings of the earth take toll or tribute? From their sons or from foreigners? And when he replied, From foreigners? Jesus said, Well then, then the sons are exempt. However, so as not to offend these people, go to the lake and cast a hook. Take the first fish that bites. Open his mouth. And there you will find a shekel. Take it and give it to them, for me and for you. Beloved, the first reading shows how Ezekiel was given a ministry. Was given a ministry. First, Israel was on exile. That is, in a time of crisis, when he was moved to intercede for her. 
So, John and his praise. The hand of the Lord came on him, and he saw symbols which implied that the celestial bodies were manifesting the glory of God. They were showing how glorious and majestic God is. Thirdly, he saw symbols who showed how angels were glorifying the majesty of God. The angels were showing how glorious God is. Fourthly, above the angels, he saw a throne made of sapphire. That is a precious stone which is a symbol of divine power and wisdom. On this throne was a being like a man, a man shining like bronze, and all around him was fire, and light was also around him like a rainbow, and it was like the glory of God. So Ezekiel prostrated and worshipped. This implies that the Son of Man, the Messiah, is God, and will purify the world with fire to bring about the rainbow of peace. And Ezekiel submitted himself to be used as his instrument. The prostration was a sign that he was ready to be used as the instrument of this glorious Lord. This implies that before giving us ministries, God reveals His glory to show us that He is capable of using us to accomplish His will, which is to purify the world of sin and bring peace. That is how God gives us his ministries, calls us to the various ministries that he gives to us. He reveals his glory to us, not like he has done to Ezekiel. The gospel gives an example of this. In it, Jesus reveals the crisis situation of his time to his people, to his disciples. He reveals the crisis situation. His own people were going to bring a calamity on humanity by crucifying him, which shows how they are deeply uh, into evil. Deeply into evil. So they were very sad. The disciples were very sad, even though he added that he would rise again. Immediately after that, an injustice happened to show how they were looking for an opportunity to arrest him and do away with him. Though he was not obliged to pay taxes, since he was not a foreigner, they demanded taxes from him. Injustice. In response, he did something to manifest his divine glory. It was not like he was just, uh, uh, it was not like he was just condoning with their injustice, but he did something to manifest his glory. He asked Peter to catch a fish, remove money from his mouth, and pay the taxes. This was to show Peter that he was capable of using him to fight evil. His resurrection and ascension and Pentecost would complete this lesson for Peter. And so Peter would surrender to him like Ezekiel surrendered and accomplish the ministry entrusted to him. Peter accomplished that ministry of overcoming evil in his life and in the world. God continues to reveal his power and glory to us all, to prove to us that he is calling us to the special ministry of standing against evil in the world, in the various ways he calls us to serve him, 
the various talents that he has given to us. He's calling us to use those talents to fight evil in the world. He's showing us that no matter how strong and how nice evil is, it shall be eventually destroyed and good shall be glorified. So we should stand on the good in order to be glorified. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, experience more of the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to surrender to the ministry that the Lord is calling you to. Amen. Can you share God's love by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel to enable us to do more. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.